Hello, my name's Ashley and I'm one of the Barbecue and Young Reviewers and welcome to my first ever review. Oh yeah! As you can see, I'm a little bit excited. Let's get into it. So today I'm reviewing a music drama I've just seen called Just Call Me God, which features the Emmy Award winning acclaimed actor John Markovich, music direction from Martin Hasselbock, and also the whole piece was written and directed by Michael Sturmia. Now these three have collaborated in the past, putting on the greatest lover of all time, Casanova, <laughs> on the stage. But this time around, they've worked on something very, very dark. So Just Call Me God is a piece that questions what is love, what is life, and what is reality, where a self-described absolute dictator called Sateur Dimanche, I just love the way that sounds, <laughs> is in a fight for survival against a determined journalist called Caroline, played by Sophie von Kessel, who is bravely trying to find out just who Satur really is. Good honour. So I saw Just Call Me God in the Union Chapel, which is this massive 19th century church, which was ironic given the title of the piece. One of my favourite moments in the piece came from the use of modern technology. Now because Satur was in hiding from his enemies, Caroline was trying to film him for what potentially his final ever interview, to try and get it out just who Satur really was. Now, this was great because we got to see this action filmed on a bigger widescreen on the stage, so you got really up close and personal with their facial expressions, with different angles, which you wouldn't normally get a chance to see, you were just kind of sitting in a normal theatre. So it was a really great addition. And also the stage was covered in a big old portrait of himself, they had uh, flags hanging down with bullseyes, so it was almost like he was the target. And also sometimes Satur actually filmed the audience, so it was a really interesting commentary about being spectators and seeing something happen to somebody that can be quite dangerous and quite scary and we're just sitting and watching back and not helping. So it was a really thoughtful addition that m made me sit back and reflect. Another one of my favourite moments has got to be provided by the music. So it was classical music was the predominant feature of the piece and it was provided by Bach and Hasselbock. What was absolutely funny was when um, Satur went to the reverend who was actually literally taped to the organ Play us something dark and strange to get us in the mood. Oh dear. Now historically the organ is an instrument that symbolically represents power because it sounds like an entire orchestra but it's just coming from one instrument. Now you can see why dictators in the past used to love it because it represented their power because only one man can play it. Big thumbs up to John Markovich for his portrayal of the dictator because what it did, it showed the dictator in so many different sides because at some points he had you like what the hell is this guy on about then he had you hiding behind your hands like this then you were literally cracking up with laughter that you were almost just unnerved because it was like this is a human being the only thing I maybe didn't enjoy as much was that we didn't really get a chance to see a depth behind the other characters but something that I would take away from Just Call Me God was where it made me question the line between reality and fiction so, a line that Satur delivered was politics is all just a bunch of stories, mostly fictitious ones. And it was a line that actually struck a chord with me because I was like, wait, even though Satur is a fictional dictator, he's not based on an actual Satur de Monchard in real life. It was an interesting line that made you think, wait, reality and fiction are actually meeting in some way to create a certain truth for us in this performance. And it was really clever. I like pieces like that when look, you come out and you're like, hmm, this has still got me thinking. So I'm really, really happy I got to see Just Call Me God because I don't think I'm going to get a chance to see something like it again. So thanks so much for watching my review and be sure to come back next week Monday to catch the next review from our Barbican Young Reviewers. See you later.